वेलकम बैक टू योर स्टूडेंट सो स्टार्ट विद टूडेज टॉपिक विच इज़ एनवायरमेंट बायोटेक्नोलॉजी सो स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड एरियाज वेयर वी यूज दिस बायोटेक्नोलॉजी टूल्स वॉट इज वेस्ट पॉल्यूटेंट एंड टाइप्स ऑफ पॉल्यूशन सो स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज एनवायरमेंट एनवायरमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सम ऑफ ऑल द फैक्टर्स आउटसाइड एंड ऑर्गेनिज इट कंसिस्ट बोथ बायोटिक अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म एज वेल एज ए बायोटिक फैक्टर लाइक वाटर टेम्परेचर एयर एंड अदर फैक्टर्स ऑल्सो दस फॉर अ गिवेन ऑर्गेनिज्म अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म कंस्टिट्यूट अ कंपोनेंट ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट वाइल द ऑर्गेनिज्म इट सेल्फ बिकम अ फैक्टर ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट ऑफ अदर ऑर्गेनिज्म सो एनवायरमेंटल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज द सॉल्विंग द मेनली सॉल्विंग द एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम थ्रू द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इट हेल्प्स टू डेवलप इफिशियंटली यूज एंड रेगुलेट बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम एंड प्रिवेंट द एनवायरमेंट फ्रॉम पॉल्यूशन और फ्रॉम कंटामिनेशन ऑफ लैंड एयर वाटर एंड हैव वर्क इफिशियंटली टू मेनटेन एन एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली सोसाइटी और क्लियर एनवायरमेंट द ऑप्टिमल यूज ऑफ मैथ a nature in the form of like plant animal microorganism like bacteria alga to produce renewable energy in the form of food and nutrient in the synergistic or or uh, integrated cycle of profit making process where the waste of each process become a feed stock or for, uh, for another process so what are the application of environmental biotechnology they are as follows like uh, they use as a biomarker so the effects of pollutant on the physiological biochemical or molecular characteristic of organism in the environment which is known as biomarker and uh, what is biosensor as a biosensor or analytical device which are capable of providing either qualitative or quantitative result and uh, environment um, monitoring or another biosensor what are uh, used for bio uh, environment monitoring and what is biofuel is a fuel to produce through contaminatory process from biomass rather than a fuel produced by the very slow geological process involving formation of fossil fuels such as oils so we use plants for biofuels and what is bioremediation is the process used to treat contaminated media including water soil and subsurface material by altering environmental condition to stimulate growth of microorganism and create the target pollution so and biotransformation of various pollutant is the substantial way to clean up contaminated environment what is molecular ecology molecular ecology is the field of evolutionary biology that is concerned with applying molecular population genetic molecular phylogenetic and more recent, recently genomics of traditional ecological questions like example species diagnosis uh, conservation and assessment of biodiversity species area relation etc so start with uh, these table shows as a environment biology no biotechnology used in detecting and monitoring as used as a biosensor and biomonitoring molecular monitoring techniques like dna fingerprinting substitution of non renewable base to into a renewable base so production of biofuel as a substitute to existing fuel which is uh, less pollution forming and uh, recovery and waste utilization recovery of metal and other valuable product from waste or discards and restoration of environmental quality through bioremediation phytoremediation contaminant sites and waste water treatment so biosensors uh, what are biosensors so use in biological entity example bacteria or any microorganism to monitor level of certain chemicals or use chemicals to monitor level of certain biological entities like uh, pathogens uh, as they are be, these are bioreceptor and they are immobilized enzyme microorganism immuno agent like dna and whole cells anything can be 
coated at this bioreceptor and this is sample analyte which contain um, these receptor uh, and receptor mainly target these sites sample analytes and transducer mainly electrochemical or um, amphimetry optical absorb fluorescence or reflection any type of trans Duration or detector can be used and they amplified the signal and which can detect by this and data processing through microelectronics. So biosensors are currently used in different fields like detecting level of toxins in ecosystem, detecting airborne pathogen like anthrax in anthrax and monitoring blood glucose levels. So what is bioremediation? Bioremediation is the use of bacteria, fungi or to clean up hazard environment waste. So the bacteria essentially turn the dangerous waste product into less hazard, easy to dispose of waste. Waste is mainly um, useful for these bacteria or they, the bacteria, these they like these hazard or waste. So they decompose these weights. So plants are also being tested in some areas to do this type of job like sunflower at the and modernly removed cesium and strontium from pollutant or waste. Example in North America, bioremediation has been used to clean up Canada dew lines styles in the Arctic and has been used to clean up after oil spills of Alaska. So currently this science can engineer bacteria to out break down hazard waste right at the workplace to avoid transport and storage. So biofuels biofuels is a plant derived fuel that is dem demand more environmentally deemed more environmentally friendly that currently fuel source as they are release less carbon dioxide compared to fossil fuels into the atmosphere so ethanol from corn is placed in many gasoline varieties in north america mainly used so biodiesel in fuel made from used cooking oil Biogas is made from gases released by compost or landfills. So these are the examples like ethanol, biodiesel, biogas. These are some examples of these biofuels. So what and after these uh, uses, what is waste and pollutant? As pollution is the effect of undesirable changes in surrounding or environment, which have harmful effect on plant, animals, human beings or any biotic factors. So pollutant anything like solid, it can be liquid, it can be gaseous that can cause pollution is called pollutant example lead, sulfuric acid, carbon dioxide and many other gases. So type of pollution, these are mainly two types of pollution which can be classified like pollution can be degradable or non-degradable. In degradable those can be readily broken down by natural process like discarded vegetables or several other waste can be degradable or biodegradable. So non-degradable, those can not be degraded by natural process like plastics. So types and it makes pollution. So the types of pollution like air pollution, land, noise pollution, water and light pollution. So water, air pollution, any chemical are released into air through harmful gases or burning fossil fuels or other byproduct of modern human lives like vehicle fuel, uh, air, um, gases from uh, of, uh, cars or any vehicles. So pollute, what it causes? Polluted air can impede breathing and cause many serious diseases in human and animals and also is harmful for plants. Land, waste material produced by human and left to accumulate it on the earth's surface. Many chemicals such as a pesticide, fertilizer are absorbed into soil or any industrial waste or any lab waste which are then discarded and then absorbed by into a soil. Ingestion of the waste can injure a poisonous animal or Chemicals can also enter the soil and be absorbed by the plant or leach into the water supply. So these are harmful effect by this land, uh, waste material pollution. So noise pollution in human procedure, excessive amount of loud noise, including industrial 
or vehicle sources excessive noise in the environment can interfere with the animal communication it can also harm animal that relies sound for navigation or hunting so what is the water pollution like a toxin from human and industrial waste are introduced into our water supplies so water can be medium for many pathogens it can cause disease and consumed by human and animals light pollution so human produce excessive amount of artificial light that interfere with natural cycle of light and darkness in environment so artificial light can confuse nocturnal animal and animal which hunt at night and rely on stars for navigation so health effect of these pollution uh, like air pollution water pollution all these pollution may affect human health like headache fatigue alag alag different types of uh, gases produce volatile organic compound other may cause nerve damage respiratory illness cardiovascular illness cancer risk is increases skin irritation nausea different types of bacterial parasite and chemical infection cause gastrointestinal diseases so it's not only affect human health it also affect animals as well as plant health like particulate particle particles which absorb by plant mainly cause surface deposition roughness hair waves or resuspension re leaf decomposition and lipophilic or high molecular weight gaseous pollution trapping in epicular wax stomata opening nitrogen oxygen ozone layer hydrophilic or low molecular weight gaseous pollution mainly penetrated by stomata so these also uh, harmful for our plants so thank you so much students